make sure to stay until the end one common mistake people make sometimes guys and that can destroy their engine so don't be one of those hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger guys if you have one of those and you have check engine light and three of the following codes i'm talking about code p0123 code p0222 and code p2111 stay with us we'll explain what most likely causes that how to fix it common mistake people make when trying to fix these codes that can actually destroy your engine uh, we've seen it happen so make sure to stay until the end we'll cover all that in this video today so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here in the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can oh we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, if you need to buy any parts tools for your dot challenger or any car you want to save quite a bit of money get them at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's start on it now so 2018 dot challenger that we have right here in the garage right now uh, what often guys causes that uh, that code let's talk about that we have the engine here uh, taken a little bit apart as you can see now uh, let's talk about that you can see this is your engine guys it's a v6 engine but even if you have a v8 it will work as well uh, two cylinder heads right uh, this is the upper intake uh, manifold right here uh, but before we get to the code I just remember many of you guys asked us to share information about the diagnostic tool that we recommend and we use this is one of the best ones uh, that uh, works on almost any car you can think of guys it's amazing tool that can pay itself off in one time use I'll put a link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features but it accesses every computer system in your car and sometimes you have up to 40, 50, we even seen 60 and so on Mercedes and BMWs uh, you can read, delete, code, see live data, so super powerful too. But now, talking about it guys, what that code means, okay. The first two, it's uh, code P0123 and code P0222 uh, means throttle position sensor and P2111 means uh, electronic control throttle body. The throttle body guys, it's that device right here. It's installed up uh, on the upper intake manifold, connects to the uh, hose and goes to the air filter box through that hose right there. But now, if you think about it guys, okay, that throttle body is super important because that throttle body allows the engine, okay, to get, uh, to get air guys, okay. You can see it opens, closes, the, air, the engine will get air, that way it will generate uh, power. Uh, it will also keep the flap opening and closing so the RPMs are steady at idle. It has an idle control uh, feature in it as well. It's everything for your engine guys practically. You have multiple throttle position sensors. One that detects okay, uh, how much uh, the flap is open here. You have another uh, throttle position, position sensor that's known as the throttle accelerator gas pedal. So if you have all these three codes we're talking guys. Most likely there is a problem with your throttle body. But what to look for now and what mistakes people often make. Number one, uh, make sure the connector is plugged in all the way. That's the connector. Inspect the wires, make sure that they're clean, not contaminated with engine oil, dust, dirt. You didn't wash the engine or anything like that, they're not wet. Inspect the wires to make sure that they're all aligned here and they're not yanked out of the connector because sometimes people will try to disconnect wires and they'll pull to the back and uh, grab for the wires and that can uh, pull the wires out. Uh, another thing, if connector everything's good, clean, everything works good. Uh, check fuses for power train guys, okay? We have fuse for the power train and for the engine computer. Check those, we have it on our channel. Uh, powertrain and I think it was called uh, ASD fuse as well and relay ASD fuses relay powertrain fuses relays as well if that checks out fine okay it's very likely you have a bad throttle body if you want to see how to test throttle body 
we will have the video on our channel how to test throttle body on dodge and it's going to teach you guys how to do that step by step which is not too complicated and you will be able to find out if it's working or not practically without removing it all you have to do is remove the intake holes which is only one clamp with 8 millimeter socket and it will take you less than two minutes to do that uh, uh, if you want to see how to uh, uh, how to uh, replace it we have the video on the channel that will teach you step by step as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time